Good day, traders. This is installation process for book. Eh? You get the download link, you download your once you have downloaded, you get a folder like this. Once you have this zip file, extract it. Once extracted, uh, just go in and copy the folder, copy it like that. Then you go to MT5, click File, Open Data Folder, and just click on White Space, paste it there. At this point, what you can do, you can close and reopen your MT5. Or you can go to navigate and then click expert advisor and refresh. There you go. Here's the robot. Uh, this robot can trade anything, any instrument. To attach it to any chart, you simply double click it. Or you can just drag it onto your chart. Come to the common tab. Make sure you allow all the trading is checked. Just like that. Then go to inputs. I'll quickly try to explain what this input means. The first one at the top there is the risk percentage. This is basically the amount the risk percentage is the amount okay let me put it this way okay it's basically the amount you are risking but in percentage form uh, in this case 0 0.01 is one percent of your account suppose your account has hundred dollars 0 0.01 would mean you are willing to sacrifice your ten dollars. No, no, not not ten dollars. One dollar. Okay. Yes. And then zero point zero two is two percent. Zero point zero five is five percent. One like this is hundred percent. You are willing to lose all you have if things don't go your way. Okay. Then. Use range middle middle point as stop loss. Basically, this EA works by just placing two pending orders. It plays buy buy stop at the top, sell stop at the bottom, and then the middle point. If you decide to use it as stop loss, or mean the middle of those two points will be where your stop loss for both orders are. Or oh, yes, then profit factor is the multiplication or the multiplication of what you are willing to lose in terms of profit. In this case, for example, if you are willing to lose one percent, then one percent is ten dollars. You are saying I want to put TP where my risk is multiplied by this value here. Yeah? So in this case, if you are willing to lose 10%, you are saying, not 10%, $10, you are saying, I want to make $10 times 1.5. Or if it's set to 2, you are saying, I want to, if things goes my way, then I want to make $10 times 2. So your profit. Okay. Let's go to max number of buying positions and max number of selling positions. These are the number of trades to place per signal. For example, you are saying, I want the robot to, to place this number of trades. If it's buying, it should place one position. If it's one or five positions, if it's five, if it's five, just like that. But I recommend you to use 
one one for now for smaller for small accounts for any account less than hundred loss just use one okay then trail stop loss can be that true or false if it's true you are saying if things are going my way i'm in profit i want to automatically move stop loss as the market moves okay if it's false you are saying i don't want to move it i, I want it fixed at one point okay I recommend you to use true for now and time frame time frame is basically your time frame where the signals will be generated or the chart that you are the time frame to place your trades on magic number this is just an a unique identifier for each trade for each chart, you can just use any random number in here to just differentiate for the bot to know which tree has been written. By the bot. For example, if you are running two different bots, if you have the same magic number here, the two bots will be confused not knowing which trees to manage. So, with this number, is the number that is being used by the bot to determine actually open this one this trade then verification code just leave it as is okay once you are done with this you can just click okay but at this moment the board has already placed trades for you no no not trades per se but pending orders you see there's a sell stop right there STP is there, stop loss is here, there's buy stop there, stop loss is here, STP is here. I'll demonstrate when we decide not to put stop loss here, but rather at the far end. So let me quickly cancel this trade and then set up. So, okay. Let's decide to play stop loss. Okay. There you go. You have your you have your your sell stop there and then you have your buy stop there stop losses are somewhere around here the stop loss, stop loss for this one is here and then the stop loss for this is here this one is a bit risky as you can see the stop loss is a bit huge Okay. That's this get it. Then you can leave your PC running and always check the later stage. Just let your trades run. Don't be tempted to close them manually. Just let them be. Okay. I think we are done.